Christian singer, author, media influencer, Juliana Zabrist responding to the claims from her, well, soon-to-be-divorced husband, Ben Zabrist, that she had an affair with the church pastor. Well, we're going to get into the details of what she had to say. Off the top, as I mentioned, if you would like to make a generous donation to our ministry, the links to do so are down below. We are demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal or Patreon set up down there. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon, you get bonus content. We also include the links for the YouTube videos up there to make sure you get alerted every time new content arrives. Then when you're there, why not just comment on these videos censorship-free, avoid YouTube blocking and hiding the comments that you guys write. Then make sure you go sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. So go check out what we're posting there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the MLB star Ben Zabris. You guys remember back in 2016, he helped lead the Chicago Cubs to a World Series championship, but went ahead to retire a couple of years later in 2019. Well, Christian couple here, Ben and Juliana, and everything seemed good until it wasn't. And, well, the reports came out that the couple was on the ropes. In fact, they had filed for divorce. Now, at the time, I talked about Ben and how, well, he said that it was, in fact, the pastor of their church in Tennessee who had been counseling the couple who he accused of doing the dirty, dirty with his wife, Juliana, as the entire counseling process was taking place. I mean, just look. <laughs> and if that really went down, talk about a scumbag thing to do. But look, I can't put it past any of these pastors. The way things have been going now, I've been reporting on these guys, okay? A lot of them have bad intentions. On top of that, you had the pastor here that was actually working along with Ben at one of his companies. And so there's all sorts of financial abuse things tied into this as well. All part of a lawsuit. The pastor was subpoenaed for this. And, well, Juliana has now come out and, well, responded to the accusations that she had this affair with the church pastor. And, well, her response was that, well, she wasn't going to respond because she didn't even want to dignify those accusations with a response and said that, well, she felt, you know, sad for those that have to go out and put those claims out there because they're so wounded that they need to make such, such accusations, obviously referring to her husband, Ben. She put this all out in a social media post on July 6th on Instagram. I'll put the link for you guys down below if you would like to go ahead and check that out. Ben claims that he has text messages that he uncovered of the couple, the fact that the pastor would be calling his wife, you know, in the late hours, that they would be meeting privately one-on-one -on -one with one another. And that's when this whole thing started to come about. Juliana said that she's focusing on raising the couple's three children and that she won't be a part of this. But look, why not just come out and deny it? Why are you saying nothing at all? See, to me, that's a little suspect. Ben said that he admitted to faults that he made in the marriage, although he would not come out and admit to the claims that Juliana made against him as far as uh, the verbal abuse part goes. He says, I'm not taking that one. I'll own the sins that I've done in the marriage, but I'm not owning that part of it at all. But I don't know. If Juliana didn't do it, why not just come out and say you didn't instead of saying, oh, I'm not even going to respond. You know, I don't know. It looks a little bit weird. But look, all I can tell you is this. A lot of times, so many times, these, these Christian couples who are in entertainment, who are in sports, music, whatever it is, look, you got the limelight on you. And a lot of times, it's so easy for things to crumble. That's why it's so important, your relationships that you have, that you are rooted, you are solid in the Word of God. Because if you are not, well... That's how the door to these sort of things can open up and the enemy can come in and destroy a marriage. He gets great pleasure out of doing that. As far as if there'll be reconciliation for Ben and Juliana, that remains to be seen. But uh, look, this is why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines that are happening around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus is coming back soon. There's a lot of low down, dirty things going on. It's happening in the church. It's happening in entertainment, sports, all of it. 
And well, we want to give everybody an opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because time is running out. Do you know him as your Lord and Savior? If not, this is your opportunity. How you do that? Well, you start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. But what you have to do, you have to repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from that sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He's going to wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. Again, guys, I'll have more for you on this down below. You can check out the full statement from Juliana. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.